inverosimile che una persona abbia fatto non so quanti, 35-40 viaggi da Firenze a Perugia, a Assisi, a Torontola per portare questi documenti falsi. so many people it, it gives you a lot of motivation and once again reminds you that sort of when you're going on a climb and you, you think you're struggling you think about what other people have had to go through you know that's that's linked to what Gino Bartoli did um, you actually realize that that your struggles are nothing to worry about really insignificant con la bicicletta faceva Firenze Assisi ritornava e poi il giorno dopo andava magari a Lucca a prendere dei documenti falsi per riportarli direttamente ad Assisi. Basically what Bartali did was to deliver documents serving the Assisi underground riding from his home in Florence until Assisi in Umbria back and forth in the same day which is quite crazy and he hid those documents inside his bike tubes inside his frame. much of a great man he was during his lifetime that that there's still now all of this enthusiasm for the things that he's done and it's great that the team was able to honor him in a way by doing this ride today. We had a couple stops along the way where we were kind of taught the story of uh, Gino Bartoli, how he did it at the train station, trying to distract the uh, German uh, policemen to get some papers and people in the train and across, and then uh, finishing up here in the beautiful city of uh, Assisi. After 200 kilometers, they come to Assisi. Beautiful place on the universe. All in honor of Gino Bartoli. The great hero. But then you actually ride it. I mean, when the guys were really climbing to Assisi, it was almost dark, and uh, it was really exciting. You could you could see that they also tried to to realize did he really climb up those up those walls with uh, this iron bike? You can really uh, you were able to actually to actually see the excitement on their eyes. Uh, and I think that's, that's something really special. Whether they, will, uh, they would like to learn more about it or not, that was a way to, to really try to understand what went through Gino's mind. Yeah, special thing to imagine that he, he did that right himself. For us as cyclists, uh, it's a very special thing to, to actually realize the bikes served him to, to help so many people. E lui si fermava qui, appoggiava lì la bicicletta, quando era lassù eh, sul, sul cavalcavia della stazione, lui vedeva il treno arrivare. Arrivava un treno da Assisi qui che portavano i documenti che lui non sapeva chi e come, però se li scambiavano entro dieci minuti. Tutte le persone intorno lo conoscevano, per cui gli andavano incontro, lo salutavano, si chiamavano venite, c'è Bartali, c'è Bartali. Gli ebrei potevano salire sul treno in quel momento perché non è il documenti non venivano controllati. Why would Bartali risk his life to save so many people? Why didn't he talk about it with no one? And he will simply tell you because, because this is what he believed that was the right thing to do. E lui se lo ricordava molto bene questa faccenda. A volte ne parlava, ma solo pochissimi accenni. Ivo told us yesterday that Bartali used to say if someone is asking you for a favor, think about it for a night. But then the day after, forget about it being a favor, because if you keep uh, remembering it was a favor, then what favor was it? Old school hero, in a way, um, makes it even more amazing.